Hey, it's Jason, and I keep having issues with Fox. No matter how secure I make this coop, no matter how secure I make the chicken coop, you know, you cannot, I mean, I guess I could, in theory, make the wiring at the top so tight they couldn't get in, but I have lots of tree branches and leaves and stuff that fall, so I like to use a net. And I'm only down to three chickens now. Uh, granted, I only had about two years ago, six. One died of natural causes and two have been picked off by fox. And I know it's a fox because I just went out there and sure enough, he got another one. So I bought this coyote decoy, which supposedly will help with that issue. So let me go ahead and show you how I intend to use this. And I'm gonna move it around, not keep it stationary, but fox do not like coyote. And I'm hoping this is going to help me. I've quarantined the other three chickens into a part of the run that has a metal wire at the top and it's a lot more secure, but the large open run just wasn't feasible to do. So right now they're quarantined. They still have an outdoor section, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so when you get the package, this is the Lone Howler Master Series decoy. And the decoy has, this will like blow in the wind. And then you got these legs, which you're just gonna go up in there and be screwed on. It's pretty lightweight, so definitely needs some type of staking. Let me go ahead and assemble the legs. So that's the decoy with it stood up. You just put the legs through the bottom and reach in and tighten them with those orange things that you saw on the leg. This seems like a decent feature. We're going to see if this will keep those fox at bay because they are just vicious. The worst I've seen since I've had these chickens. Now, this is lightweight. So what I'm going to do is wrap some um, twine or metal wire around its leg and then just put a rock on top of the leg or on top of the twine so it doesn't blow over. So when you are far away from this thing, man, it looks pretty, pretty good to me. Yeah. I'm gonna put it up here near the chicken coop, but if I didn't know this was here and I was just walking in somebody's backyard, it would give me a bit of the jitters. And what you can do with this thing is you can actually take the rear legs off, make it sit down and put the rear legs on the front, and then it would look like it's in like a howling position. So the legs can come off easily. So, you know, you don't want to change that. I'm going to use some zip ties around the back leg and then hook it to a rock so the weight doesn't, you know, blow over if it gets windy. So I'm going to keep it set up like this because what happens is the coyote or the fox come behind the fence and then they jump up over the back and this part of the run they're able to kind of get in. Um, what I've done now is I've taken and I blockaded the chickens just to this chamber. It's down to three now. And this you can see is all metal at the top. The fence is buried. Yes, they could reach through here, I know. But they're not gonna be able to get out to that big open area. And I'm hoping with this decoy here because I was a fox and I saw that I would question what I'm doing so that's the fox decoy just wanted to let you know what it's like ultimately I'm hoping I don't lose any more chickens I don't have many left the reason why I'm not adding more because it's really hard to uh to introduce them as part of the flock but thanks for tuning in subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks